previously on the vlog very satisfied with today today my goals were to run 11 second 25 second and i have achieved both of them yes it was windy but i basically executed yeah i'm just praying as i go through the season time will come down and i'll get a legal time hopefully my first time being at the track actually it's 10 or 8 so i'm literally gonna warm up in a minute it's quite windy but the wind will be behind us today whichever way the wind is that's where we'll be running so we'll be running that way so we're gonna be running in this direction today so like i said it's my first time being here i've actually never been to the community track i've been in the stadium the olympic stadium but i've not been to this track so should be a good day i just really want to execute today so that's my goal i want to run well i wanted to run at a legal time the wind was quite strong so i'm not sure if it's going to be legal today so we will see my numbers got my numbers i hope you gave me the right one you know 371 <laughs> we've only got one number first round is at 11 30 so yeah i'm going to start warming up my numbers be away. I'm gonna start warming up like now, really, in a minute. I'm gonna try and find out where the toilet is and then, yeah, I'm gonna start warming up. I actually just realized that they gave me pins. second round no my first round sorry i don't even know why i said that i ran 11.91 windy i know i am because you shouldn't talk with your mouth full but i am i was in heat too as you can see it looks like once again is not working very hard which is really really annoying so i can't really expect to run faster if I am not working hard in the race so for me now it's a thing about how to execute execution is a problem I'm not executing properly in a sense of working hard so that's what I need to do for the next round they're probably going to be in like heat three or four because these or five even because these are the one far so you know hopefully I can get a win a legal time and actually run a decent time. It's so annoying. When I watch my races, it's so annoying because it just looks like I'm jogging now. You ain't got time for that. Don't. 
Yeah, I'm watching my race again. Basically, it's very awkward recording when there's like everyone's just looking at you. So anyway, if you're watching this video and you saw me recording, <laughs> then laugh in the comments. Anyway, I'm watching my race again and it's too laboured and relaxed. Anyway, I'm going to try my best in the next round. What else can I do? But right now, the fact that I keep running the same sort of time is like, just an indicator that I'm not really working hard. I'm easing off too much, too relaxed, even though I'm not trying to be. But I just tend to have this really bad habit and I've had this bad habit my whole life. So I don't really know what to do about it, really. I don't know what to do about it. It's 12.10 now. I'm trying to balance this on my spike. My second round is at 1.30. I was in heat two for the first round, but I'm not going to be in heat two for this next round. So I'm going to try and find that out and then I'll let you guys know when I know. So there was a lot of women's rounds. That was heat 14. There's one more heat for the women and then it's men and then it's going to be women again. For the second round, I am in heat three. Should be a good race because most of the girls are in it around 11, 9 in the first round, if not all of us. So it'll be a closely matched race, prayerfully, by God's grace. I can actually execute properly, that's what I need to do. But if I execute properly, that means be aggressive <laughs> through the whole race. No thinking about it, just like keep hammering, keep working, keep working. I'm just getting annoyed. This is my third race now. Well, my third competition. It's good that I'm relaxed. This is basically a problem I've had my whole athletics career, if you can call it career. It takes me a while to switch on, to switch on, like to compete, to put my foot down. So yeah, that's what I need to do, basically. It's 12.29. I'm gonna walk back over to the warm up area, well, the track, <laughs> where I'm warming up and I'm gonna take my time warming up again. See, the thing is, I don't feel like, my body feels fine, I feel fine. Hope I don't fall. <laughs> I feel fine. I feel like my legs are turning. So I definitely know it's an execution thing now. The season has started, Tarima Thompson. And now you need to run. <laughs> now you need to race. You need to race, you need to race, you need to execute. So that's what I'm gonna try and do out here by myself once again. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm just talking for the sake of talking now, but yeah, I'm gonna go and warm up and get ready for the second round. Let's see if I can execute better and prayerfully this time get a legal time 11 something. Prayerfully 11 8 or 11 7 is what I would like to see on that clock. <laughs> I've just discovered, well I discovered in my warm up for the second round that my spike is starting to split. Oh, I bought these in 2020 and I never really got to wear them. Did I buy them in 2020? 2021? I didn't wear them because I didn't compete but only the right one. That's so annoying. I had to try not to think about it. I mean it should last me for the weekend but I'm going to have to buy new spikes. Ooh, I like these spikes. I don't even know where I got them from. Hi guys, so I'm on my way home. I did the second round and I ran 11.91 again. However, this time it was legal, so I have to take that as another step in the right direction. I definitely executed better than I did in the first round. I ran the same time, but obviously there was less wins, so I executed better in some aspects. Definitely more in the middle, I think. My start still wasn't good. <laughs> but I definitely fought better, which is what I need to practice. So to be fair, I have to give myself a bit of grace. I am actually taking steps in the right direction. Each race or competition, I'm kind of improving on something. So I'm grateful that I've got a legal 11 time now, so I can put that thought out of my head as to, can I still run 11? I can still run 11, I did it today. So it's another step in the right direction. And I need to be patient with myself, be patient with the process, my journey, my process. Like I said, this is my journey, sorry. <laughs> like I said, this is my journey, no one else's journey. My road to get into the best shape of my life. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, the next race potentially is on 
Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> South of England is meant to be this weekend, but we got an email from them saying that Chelms would have basically let them know that the renovations are not going to be done in time. So at this present time, which is Monday, and our competition's on Saturday, I don't know where it's going to be. So we're all waiting to see, but that should potentially be my next race. It's going to be hard because these girls are running fast, like I said before. It was actually really nice to be running against people that you know are running like this similar time because it makes me execute better, which is what is generally what happens. So that's the benefit of having a group. That's the benefit of if you actually train with other fast girls, you can actually run like that all the time in training. So anyway, I have to do it in competition because that's my journey. That's where I am at. I wanted to say something, yeah, about being an invisible athlete in terms of there's so many athletes in athletics and in terms of like worldwide or even on the national level the athletes that only know not spoken about are the ones that are doing well when i say well i mean who are at the top in terms of their performance is the best out of everyone in the country in the world whatever that's what people pay attention to then obviously if you're in a group they see your journey but the thing is, is that most people don't see your journey so when they don't see your journey they're not going to be invested in you and it can feel like no one cares or whatever but i just wanted to say that god sees that's all i wanted to say <laughs> that's all i wanted to say i wanted to say that god sees you just as in the world you get famous people you get people that are not famous that doesn't make your life any less valid or your journey any less valid so that's all i wanted to say i wanted to say that you're seen even if you feel like you're not. I don't know who that was for, I'd put it to say that. Obviously with me, I know a lot of people in athletics because I've been in the sport for like two decades, right? But I don't have any friends in athletics, really. I don't have anyone that I do life with in athletics. Like I don't have a group, so, you know, I don't have a coach. So it's pretty much, obviously I'm sharing my journey on YouTube. I pray that in me sharing my journey, it kind of makes other athletes who are maybe in a similar position to me where you're on a journey, your journey matters. Like you're progressing in your own way. You've got things to work on. Every athlete has their own journey. Like it's not an easy journey. Sorry that I'm not looking at the camera, by the way. Every athlete has their own journey. It's not easy, right? You may not be sharing yours on social media. You may not be known because you're not the top in the country, whatever. But I hope that me sharing my journey makes you feel like it's a voice for the, I guess, the other athletes in the sport, the invisible athletes. So that's my little tree must build for today. Thank you once again for watching this vlog. Thank Thank you for following my journey because I really do appreciate the comments, the likes, the subscribe, all of that good stuff, you know, yeah, all I'm doing is sharing my experience, that's it. You know, I don't know everything, I know some things, I've been in the sport for two decades, I know a little bit, you know, and I'm just sharing that, you know, like I said, there's always people that are ahead of you and there's always people that are, I guess, behind you as well, people that would want to be in your, in your position, so I'm learning to appreciate my journey, take one step at a time with my journey. This is my competition today, I ran 11.91 twice and I finally got a legal 11, guys, so I thank God for that and yeah, I give all praise to God. Anyway, thank you for watching this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!